It's April the 1st, mm. and it's Easter Monday. So welcome to the latest episode of Gary's Graveyard Gramblings. And today we're going to stay on Margaret's bench. Here she is, and we'll say hello to Alice. Can't remember if that's her name or not, but who cares? There, there we are. Good morning. Yes, I'm out of breath. Uh, but I'm not ill for the concerned amongst you. Now, just between you and me, because after all, this is the world's least watched video blog, and it is just you and me, this place behind me, the Jesus shop, is going to be very busy today because it's Easter Monday. And that is the day when she ariseth from the slab in the cave and comes out and then in a blinding light of glory gives eggs to everybody all the little children gather round and then the jesus gives eggs to everybody and of course easter eggs were invented in 1932 by sir isaac casbury well, i'll say that again <laughs> that was very badly said sir isaac cadbury the inventor of the Mars bar, and the idea being that you show your love of the Christ child through an Easter egg, what is made of chocolate. Chocolate, the original spelling of which was C-H-O-K-L-I-T, and he's a doggy. Hello, doggy. <laughs> this doggy. <laughs> which means I'm probably going to be interrupted almost immediately. Any roader. He invented it, and that's how Easter came about. Now, to celebrate this wonderful festival, yesterday I watched Barbie. Now, Barbie, of course, is, is related to Easter, and it's one of the films that was made to celebrate this great British festival, because it is a British festival, of course. And... Um, I have to say, as colourful as it was, I didn't feel really that it got to the nub and gist of the whole brouhaha quick enough, although it was only about 93 minutes long, mercifully. A very colourful film it is, and of course that befits the person who Barbie was actually based on. Now, you mightn't have known this, but Barbie was actually based up, not upon um, Coco de Chanel, as played by Rena Perlman, um, as um, in the film, Rena Perlman, who was Carlotta in Cheers, you might remember, and in Matilda as well. No, it wasn't her. The real inspiration for the real inspiration for Barbie was actually Lady Barbara Cartles. Now, Lady Barbara Cartles was a member of the British royal family, and um, she was obsessed with the colour pink. You see, so she wore pink all the time. Pink Barbie Barbara Cartles. Do you see where I'm going with this? Now, Barbara Cartles was much revered in the royal family. She was a particular favourite of the Queen and Queen Mother up until, well, I'm coming to that in a minute. She ruined it, quite frankly. So, Barbara Cartles, she used to make, she was a very accomplished singer and she made a wonderful album with the London Philharmonia Mnemonic Orchestra in 1973, and um, it's a favourite in the Pismoldia collection. We play it more or less every day, probably. And she sings these lovely songs like A Nightingale Swam in Berkeley Square, and um, the, 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 the Look of Love, you know, because she was an accomplished writer and sold millions of books about um, people trying to have it off with each other in private, but always dressed in pink. And of course she got invited to the royal wedding of Princess Diana and Lady Charles, who what eventually became King Charles, the one that's there now. And um, she got, when they got wind that Lady Barbara Cartles, was coming, 
and the ticket allocation went out for the Abbey, they actually gave her row Z seat 10, which wasn't very nice, was it? But I gather that the Queen Mother, who was distantly related to them all, because they are actually all related to each other, got, got her wind up. She was riled that this pink thing was going to come in and sit there and take all the limelight away from her, because she always wore pink as well. Pink is a very royal colour. What the hell has this got to do with Barbie? Well, anyway, I watched Barbie. Had, of course, hadn't got a clue what was going on. I wouldn't advise you to take your children to see it because they won't know what's going on. I didn't know what was going on. But it was a comfort to me to know that the whole shebang was based upon this beautiful lady, uh, Lady Barbara Cartles, the original inventor of Barbican, a uh, Barbie. And with that, um, I'm not even good. I didn't introduce you to the general over there today, um, but I might show him on the exit part of episode 28 of this. Like, is it? <laughs> I've forgotten. I've lost track because these things, of course, only really last until episode nine. Well, because it's just me and you watching this, nobody else. It's easy because I can forget the number of them with a plomb. And on that cheery note, I'm going to wish you Happy Easter. Don't eat too much chocolate. Don't go and watch Barbie because it's a pile of. And have a wonderful week and I shall see you all again soon. Salute. Oh, how pure all can you get?